video for today and I got a couple of pretty good size ones for you guys to look at. First one is Forest Monarch by Abraham Hunter. It is a square and it measures 70 by 96 centimeters. And the second one is London by Image World, a square as well, measuring 95 by 70 centimeters. So these are, these are almost the same size, but not quite. There's probably a centimeter difference. So let's start with the Forest Monarch first. All right, so, all right, box is empty. Diamond Art Club painting kits come with a toolkit in this frosted resealable bag. You'll get a little blue diamond painting pen. Square kits come with these black, um, very sharp tweezers, a handful of baggies, two pieces of heart-shaped wax, a blue squishy to put on your pen, and then also a very, one of those skinny four placers that you can put on the top of your diamond painting pen. It also lists right here in front, all the contents. So there you go. Also comes with this little baby sticker that gives you the image and all the information on the painting. Your canvas will come wrapped in this plastic sleeve. Your drills will be wrapped or rolled up on the inside of your canvas along with a larger inventory sheet. So their canvases are made of this soft velvet-like material, which um, is self-flattening, but for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and roll this out so that we can get a good look at this canvas. They are poured glue, so you don't have to worry about riv rivers or bubbles or your adhesive coming up on the canvas. Let's see if I can fit. It's a big one, so sorry, and I got a glare there, but I'll move it around in a second so you can see it. Your painting will also come with step-by-step -step instruction sheet, as well as a larger sticker sheet for inventory. The stickers come pre-cut into little strips, which if you use these for kitting up is pretty helpful. Sorry, focus. Here it goes. We are working with 48 colors and three different AB types. Here's a closer look at the image. It is Forest Monarch by Abraham Hunter, a square measuring 70 by 96 centimeters. So our drills come um, grouped in this big bag and labeled separately so that it helps for storage. And you can take a good look at the colors. Here's the ABs, or one of the three. If you don't know what AB stands for, it is Aurora Borealis, which makes it reminiscent of the Northern Lights. It is an iridescent coating that they put on the top of drills that just highlights the color and highlights the picture really fun to work with but it can be a little touchy too sometimes they can take your wax but i do like ab's you don't need much to really make an impact on your painting but they are fun to work with there we go and here's a look at the canvas so sorry i know i can't fit it all in the frame but diamond art club canvases running up against my tripod now. We'll have their logo at the very top as well as color key on opposite sides of the canvas. One here, one here, as well as a thumbprint and canvas information on the lower left hand side. Let's take a peek at the drill field. Looks pretty clear. I'd like to show you guys the drill field in various spots. Can't always catch all of them, but you can get a good idea of what it looks like. And I don't see any problems. And there you go. 
So here it is, Forest Monarch by Abraham Hunter. I think it looks really nice, even before we put diamonds on it. So I'm excited to work on this one. All right, moving on to the next one. London by Image World. We got our toolkit, we have our baby sticker, and There's a canvas. You got your step-by-step -step brochure. And we got our large inventory sticker sheet. Here is close-up of the image. London by Image World. It's a square, 95 by 70 centimeters. Looks like we are working with 63 colors and three ABs. And there you go. Here is our big packet of drills with all these happy blue colors. 996 is one of my favorite colors. And it's just so bright and happy. A lot of different colors here. And there you go. And here's a look at the canvas. Once again, you got your branding on the top. You got your key on opposite sides of the canvas, as well as a thumbprint and canvas information on the lower left-hand side. Let's take a look at the drill field. Looks pretty good to me. Cool picture. Um, we visited London about three, four years ago, maybe even five years ago. And this is kind of the view I remember seeing when we saw, I think this is a parliament building. We saw Big Ben probably, I think it was over on that side, but I mean, the view was kind of very similar. You got the red foam booths which is very cool and it's so funny because um, we visited London mostly because my husband was working there but my son and I were fortunate enough to come along with him and you know these red phone boobs you see all the tourists everyone I mean we did too and one takes pictures by them they want to take pictures on the inside and we were talking to some of the um, locals there and they laugh about it because apparently these phone booths aren't working anymore. So they're just basically there. I don't even know why they're there, but you don't have working phones in there. And apparently a lot of homeless people and drunk people just use it to go in there and pee. So it's actually pretty gross in there. So a lot of the London locals would just kind of laugh whenever they see a tourist kind of posing on the inside, taking pictures out in these red phone booths. So that kind of cracked me up a little bit. We took a picture of it, but not on the inside. We stood on the outside of it after being told that. But anyways, really cool. You got the big red buses here. You got the river things. Um, well, you even got the London Eye all the way in the corner here. So I don't think it's very geographically correct because I don't think you can spot the London Eye right from where this is. I don't even think the river things is... Maybe it is, I don't remember. So anyways, cool picture. This is what I like about square canvases or canvases for square drills, is that I can already see the image before I even put diamonds on it. So there you go, um, my unboxing of London and the Forest Monarch. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.